name is Myra. Um, I'm 23 years old. And so I'm a spinal cord injury to level T2. Um, actually, two days ago, it was 13 years ago. Um, it actually happened right here, right in front of my house. Um, I got shot. I was waiting for those vendors, the corn vendors. And all of a sudden, like two men passed by. I was playing outside, 10 years old, and one of them got the gun out and wanted to shoot the guy that was behind me. But I didn't see him. He ducked and it hit me like right on my shoulder. Okay, well, life was after the injury was really hard, really difficult. I mean, a 10 year old, you know, getting to, it used to play, run, and everything. And all of a sudden, like everything taken away, you know, to, to this wheelchair, and that's how she's gonna be moving. So it was difficult. I had the first year, um, I went back to elementary school, fifth grade, and I remember I was completely like silent. Like I wouldn't even try to make friends. I wouldn't even try to go out. Well, in high, everything happened in high school. I started to be more active in like clubs, like the Eco Club, the Bible Club, and I just, I just wanted you know be part like of things. So then when I went to college, um, I just started volunteering also because not only because of my major, but because I like volunteering, I like helping out. So I would do, I did three internships. I did one with the case manager, Rancho Los Amigos, another one with also Rancho with the OT therapist, and then across the street with um, Independent Living Center. Um, I did my internship there. And anytime, even when I finish my hours, anytime I get a chance, if they need help, like I would just offer and just help them. And then right now I'm actually, and I got my bachelor's in human services. So having the van, it will totally like completely change the way I'm living right now, actually, because I depend on access. So even for school, I will have to wait like two hours in order to get to get to school. I will be there early or sometimes right on time. So, you know, for anything I, I need, like to really volunteer or I'm trying to go back to school to get my master's, it will help so much, especially like with my family. We don't have a car. Nobody drives. So right now I'm the only one that has a permit and I'm trying to get my license and everything. So that's definitely a goal that I want to complete. On behalf of Triumph Foundation, I'm proud to announce the winner of our Adapted Van Giveaway Contest to Miss Myra. <laughs> so Triumph Foundation just surprised Myra with the van that she won in our essay contest. We had uh, 30 applicants apply for this thing, but Myra's story just really stood out to us just because of her perseverance, which getting hurt when she was a little girl, and then just growing up to be such a wonderful woman and just having a heart to serve. And uh, Myra, we're just so happy to bless you with this van. And um, would you like to say anything to Triumph Foundation's army? <laughs> Some speeches have no words. I'm so thankful, thankful for the Triumph Foundation, everybody that's behind it to make it happen. This is a life-changing moment. Um, thank you so much. I feel so blessed. And I'm glad to that I'll be able to be part of the Triumph Foundation. So, Myra, congratulations. Uh, this was my van. It was a 2002 Chrysler Town & Country. Uh, you know, I was blessed when I had an injury that a lot of people were there to support me. And I was blessed with, you know, a great job and a lot of people doing a lot of great things for me as well and I try to pay it forward and when it was coming down time thinking about a new car because of how much I drive I thought what better way to you know handle my old van but to donate it to Triumph Foundation and let's find somebody else that can use it <laughs>